Hey guys, my name is Snurpadash and welcome back to Zero Time Dilemma. Today we're going to jump straight into this blinking one right here, which is further along the path than before. Yes. Because it doesn't say that we've done it before. Alright, so our clones were sent to an alternate timeline, but we're still alive. These guys are. What in the world is going on? We went into the input pots, and now we came right back out of the same one. Separate realities. But not the export pots. Did the process fail? No. No, wait. Hold on a sec. Let me think about it's this copies. for a minute. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. I get it now. You understand what happened? Remember what Zero he was listening. Said. This transporter isn't one that simply teleports various objects. What is transferred is only the atomic data. The object itself does not get transported. Yeah. I remember one time with my grandma years ago. The, the first time she sent me a fax, she said, The paper came back, Sigma. Maybe it didn't go through successfully. It's the same thing. Just like how the fax doesn't send the actual paper, we too. Our original bodies remain. And only the red data went to the transfer point? Yeah. But there's one thing I don't get. Why is this me? The one that stays? If our data did end up transferring correctly, it wouldn't have been a surprise to see we were in the transfer point world. So, why are we still here? Because it was just copy. <sighs> Sorry. I know how strange this sounds. It's alternate reality. It's clearly an esoteric conundrum. Even after thinking extensively on it, I'm not sure I'd figure it out. But... I do know one thing for sure. We've run out of cards in our deck. Alright, since that was a really short segment, let's go and do this one, which is from an earlier timeline for these guys. First come, first saved, D. Budge. Does that Why, mean it's you're still locked? alive? Yeah, seems that way. So that means we're trapped, huh? Yeah, Where that's what we? that means. The decontamination room. That's how it's labeled on the map. There are showers in here? Oh, this you thing. Need to wash I hate all it. Contaminants off after you return from outside. Well, in the case of nuclear war, of course. Which means there are two exits heading to the surface. Here, and the X door in the lounge. You're right. It looks like there's a hall to an elevator outside. I don't see how they're connected on the map, but it must be there. Okay. Then let's escape through that door. How exactly do you propose that... It looks like it's been welded shut. Maybe it'll open if we push that yellow button over there. Do you not just hear that it's welded shut? Then what exactly is it for? Should we Don't try pressing it. it? No. It's clearly suspect. Better not. Right. No pushing buttons in the scene exactly. The anesthetic was injected after the vote. Around... 1330. So we've been asleep for almost four and a half hours. Um, that might not be true. Right. 
Zero did say. Once 90 minutes are up, an injector in your bracelet will activate. An anesthetic and an agent will raise your memories will be administered. That means we could have woken up and fallen asleep several times since then. Indeed. But we just don't remember any of it. Yeah. I wonder what the results of the voting are. It's highly unlikely that C-Team was able to survive. Why? You even have to ask? Diana voted against the plan on the note and chose C-Team. Well, wait, hold up. What are you saying? I thought Diana voted for Q-Team. Isn't that right? I'm sorry. I... Well, I... I don't really remember. What? How is that possible? How could you forget? After the vote at 1330, he told us we wouldn't be injected with the amnesia meds. Right. I remember it exactly. Diana had chosen to vote for Q-Team. No! I know for sure that she definitely voted for C-Team. Nonsense. You must be out of it. You're the one out of it, you senile old fart. She remembers both. No. Wait. Tell me. Jumped? Yeah, you're right. You guys jumped. What Sigma was going on about back in DCOM? Well, it's all true. I did, I don't think you'd believe me. It's highly likely you won't even understand. You see, the things Sigma and I have been through are, um, complicated and mysterious. Does that mean your consciousness came from the future? 2074? Yes, but that's not exactly right. Sigma and I both originated from the current world of 2028. Consciousnesses were sparked by a specific event into jumping forward to 2074. We returned to April 2029, where we lived 45 years normally through time. In January 2074, our two consciousnesses were rooted to the past again. That's and overly ended complicated. Up at this point in time, Christmas of 2020. She's like, what? <laughs> See, I don't even know what to say. you don't understand, do you? It doesn't have to make sense. You only need to believe us. About what happens in the future? Correct. I have to know that. Why was mankind destroyed? It's not exactly destroyed. It isn't as if there aren't any survivors left. But a large number are. Yes. The dead number, six billion. Wow. It's all because of Radical Six. A horrific virus that affects the human brain. It spread quickly worldwide, and humanity began heading to extinction. The location the virus originated at was the experimental facility, DECOM. That was what we were told, anyway. Some of the information appears to be incorrect, though. How so? This is just a guess, but I think Radical Six wasn't leaked from Deco. I've got like a from here. it came from the shelter instead. Regardless, back then we believed it all started at Decom. So we infiltrated the facility as subjects to prevent the release of the virus. Akane's help. Akane? She's the leader of a secret group called Crash Keys that wants to save the world. Using the organization's assets, we hacked the admin server. It altered huh. the original subject list and data. I have a lot of information in these I see. recent episodes. I mean, it all seems so fake. I can hardly keep up with all of it. We're not lying. It's true. All right, then. to go back for a second. Fi, you said you jumped earlier, right? Yeah. Does that mean...
She shifted. Go to Lake Groves, but I will now announce the voting results. All three groups have voted for different teams. Four, The most important thing is that Mira doesn't escape because she has the Revica 6. So they all end up in the same room. Teams. Well, they're the last team. Sorry. Refuse. Wait! Don't! I'm doing it to protect you two. What? It's not to escape. Of course, I don't want to kill the other teams. But if we don't act, we're the ones who die. It's not for certain. No one pushes it before three minutes are up. But if we wait, all three teams will be killed. The acid will melt even our bones, and all that's left will wash down the train. Is that how you want to reunite? To hug and cry together in the train? By then, we wouldn't even be able to see or hold them. Wait, wait, Sigma! Please calm down! How can I possibly do that? Someone on another team could be pushing the button right now as we speak. Just listen, please! Zero did say that we had three minutes, but he never said what would happen once the time limit ended. She's right. Three minutes is just a space of time. There's still a chance nothing will happen after the deadline is over. They're right. It must mean that we're being tested to see how much we all trust. Please believe, Sigma. Trust the other teams. Have a major issues with that. What do you think I'm gonna do? What do you think I'm gonna do, guys? What do you think I'm gonna do from past experience? happening. Yeah. See? I told you, didn't I? None of the others push the button. So that's proof that the other teams can be trusted to cooperate. It is. It seems that may be a misunderstanding, so I shall clear it up for you. I never said the shadows would activate as soon as the button was pressed. Which means you've yet to learn whether the button it wasn't. What? I promise. When? Then the anesthetic will. <clears throat> I get it now. Don't tell me we'll be asleep. Well, you definitely won't want to be a lot. 
Well, you definitely don't want to be awake when you're going to hit with an at hydrofluoric acid. Bad news bears. I mean, you'll be dead either way, but at least one way you might not even realize that. All right, guys, I guess that's all for today. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Snowfish, and I'll see you when I see it.